Hey everyone, today I'm going to walk you through seven highly profitable AI systems you can sell right now. And these are all systems I've personally built for my clients or for my own business and generated over $90,000 doing so. These are surprisingly easy to sell and easy to build. And I'm ranking these based on how high ROI they are and how much value they can add and how fast. So let's dive right into it. These are the seven AI systems we can sell. We have the proposal generation system, the CRM automation systems, the outbound email appointment setter system, AI personalized cold email system, the SEO content generation system, and the social media content system. Oh, and then the recruiting application analysis system. And so today I'm going to show you in screen share and demo each one of these systems inside n8nmake.com so you can see exactly how it works and how to build it out. And so let's start with the proposal generation system. This is when you have some sort of sales event happen. Someone finishes a meeting and the transcript from that meeting gets sent to a workflow or someone on a meeting is filling out some sort of tally form and then the response from that form is going into the automation. It's generating the proposal. And so you can see the form is filled out. The information is collected by the workflow. It's fed into various different open AI or Claude API calls. We generate all the templated content. We fill in the proposal template and then we output as PDF, uh, templated PDF, templated Google Slides, templated PandaDoc, and send it to the client. So I'm going to show you exactly what this looks like. And so if we go in here into my PandaDoc, this is how I'm currently building it out. This is what it looks like. You have a bunch of these variables in here. Proposal title, you have the problem statement. This gets generated. The solution statement, the timeline, the pricing, the company name, first name, last name. This all gets generated directly from the sales call or from you know some sort of tally form or type form that you build out. So let me dive into the system right here. So if we go into sales, we can see this system proposal generator. So someone fills out a form, we run through, that's loading here, fills out this form and we generate the proposal. We run through generating the milestones. And again, I'm not gonna dive super deep into this. I have other videos on this, but it's generating all the information for the proposal, all the milestones, and it's sending them, it's sending me the proposal to review it like a human in the loop. And then I have my CRM inside of ClickUp and it's finding, is there a, you know, a record, which there should be if I'm on a meeting with them in my CRM, if there is go and find it and update a custom field called proposal URL with the PandaDoc URL, send me a Slack message to review it. This is what the proposal system looks like. This is extremely high ROI. I ran an email campaign to medium sized roofing companies in the US to basically have an automated proposal creator system for them. And it was, I got insane response rates. This is one of the highest response rates I've got on any email campaign that I've built. So I would highly recommend that you do this. So the next thing that we have is a CRM build out. So this is actually like one of those systems, again, with the, with the proposal generation system, these are both kind of add-ons like the, with, if you're going towards something like roofing companies for the proposal system, you could probably sell it right up front. But then let's say we start with this AI lead gen system, the CRM and the proposal systems are kind of like add-ons and upsells once you've already delivered value. So the CRM system, you're just having basically triggers. And so if I go over here to click up, I'm in my automation tool, we have my CRM in here. I'm not going to show it. There's a lot of you know sensitive emails in there, but basically how you build this out is you have your CRM, you create an automation when a certain status changes to whatever the status is, then you send a webhook, call webhook, and then you put that webhook to n8n, to make.com, whatever it is. And this is how you build out a bunch of triggers on top of a CRM. So, so pretty straightforward. You can, you know, send emails based on triggers. And then in the recruiting pipeline, I'll show you a little bit more of what that actually looks like in practice. But you can basically say, like, we're going to help you have reminders of when to follow up with people, when the last time was, you know, the proposal and the CRM are pretty much the same system because you can say, once you hit a certain stage, go generate the proposal automatically. And so I'm not going to dive too much deeper into this. Um, CRM build routes are pretty straightforward. Now to go into AI lead gen. So this is going to be by far the most important system that you can build out. I've made over, you know, 30 to 40 grand selling this in the last few months. And where my team and I are basically going all in on this offer because it's the most sticky, it's the most valuable. And so you identify the prospect, you use AI to research that prospect, and then you feed that research data into AI like OpenAI or Claude. Um, and then you uh, sit using OpenAI or Claude. I guess it's, yeah, feed data into AI, personalized. Those are actually the same thing. And then you're sending them using instantly, smart lead, whatever it is. 
um, to your to your prospects. So I'm gonna dive in and show you guys what this actually looks like. So again, we're scraping something like Appify, getting a bunch of leads. If the email exists, we're gonna verify them using Million Verifiers API. If the if it's successful, we check is it valid. Um, if the email is valid, then we do perplexity deep research on them. We run them through a Claude uh, LLM chain to create a personalized message, and then we add them into Instantly. And or you can also just pull these leads directly from the from a database, and then you can add them into a Google Sheets and run the same exact workflow. So maybe you have a bunch of leads that are already verified, so you don't need to scrape them. Add them into a Google Sheets, get all of the rows. And then you enrich them with perplexity um, with open AI, you're updating the rows and then you're uploading that CSV to something like instantly. So if I go into instantly here, I'll show you what that looks like. You're going to set up your email accounts and instantly you're going to go inside of instantly into this email accounts right here. You're going to click add new done for you. We recently just set up 50 more inboxes. I'm going to set up another hundred soon. You search for your domain and then you, you can just purchase your emails directly in there. And then with the API, you can go into the settings um, and then inside of the settings, you can go into the integration section here and get your API key. And that's what you can add into your NNN workflows or your make.com workflows, whatever it is. to so just basically auto add people in here. You can see some of the recent campaigns, not crazy response rates, but we still generated like 10 sales calls from that, which is, you know, even though we're sending, you know, are in here, 7,800. 10 sales calls, I'll take it. 10 sales calls from 7,000 leads. We're basically planning to ramp up to 50 to 100,000 per month. And so that is the AI lead generation system. You can you can serve this, service this to clients. My team and I are building this all out in custom Python code right now because we're trying to handle hundreds of thousands of leads every month and basically have like a custom user interface dashboard for our clients to, to dive into. I'll show you what that looks like. We're basically building out this system that will do everything I just showed you in a completely automated way. And it looks something like this. I'm like, let's reach out to manufacturing companies, cannabis shops, financial institutions, whatever it is. And then it's like, I go in here, it adds all the leads to the campaign for me. I can see the results from that. The dashboard is a work in progress. Um, this is kind of like a sample dashboard, but we're gonna be able to pull in basically, I was gonna show you a demo in a Lovable that we mocked up, but basically it's gonna pull in leads, product market fit, how responsive each market is to the offer, et cetera. And once you can get people results with this system, it's game over. You can basically scale to the moon. And so that brings us to our next system, which is the AI appointment setter. So this is if you have something like instantly or smart lead, whenever they have uh, integrations where whenever you get a reply, you send a webhook. And so whenever a reply is received, you send a webhook and I'll show you what that looks like. Let me find this. You get the reply via webhook. Then you use something in N8N called a text classifier where you can basically N8N, it's like an AI module that they pre-built into their system. And you can basically test, is this person showing any interest or willingness to hear more or not? If they're, if it's a positive reply, you send an API request to instantly to get the entire email thread. And once you have that email thread, you can build out this agent which essentially goes in, maybe it's an open AI agent. And then you can say like, here's my knowledge base from my company. And then you, you add in various different things within the agent. So you say the intent is positive. Is it objection has questions ready to book? And then based on that, you either address, address the objections, you answer questions from the knowledge base. And by you, I mean, your agent does this automatically proposes available time, sends a cow.com booking link answers questions, addresses objections. And so the better your knowledge base is, the better your prompt prompt engineering skills are, where you can add all the information about your product and the objections directly into here, the better because it will be able to reply and you can add a human in the loop at the beginning. So the reason why I didn't start with this is because this system is 10 times more valuable. The kind of appointment setter is only really a constraint once you hit a high enough lead volume that you're getting, you know, dozens of warm replies per day and you don't have the time to you know, respond to them. Or let's say you have 10 clients for lead gen, you tell them that you will book them meetings for them. You'll do the appointment setting for them. If that's the case, you probably like, let's say you're running 10 clients on a lead gen system. You probably want to have this to be able to just manage all the leads for you so that you're not in there 24 seven all day, every day. The next system we're going to go into is the SEO content generator. Essentially, you uh, you scrape Reddit, you scrape RSS feeds, news feeds, and you get all the top news in one space. And then you can essentially feed that into AI modules and generate AI, you know, SEO optimized blog content, and then, you know, posting to your website, to WordPress, whatever it is. 
This is a pretty straightforward one, so I'm not going to dive super deep into the workflow here. I'll show you kind of what the workflow would look like in the uh, social media system that's next. But we can think of this as either SEO content generator or one of the ones that I've seen a bunch of people asking for lately is the newsletter generator. So if you can have something pull in data from various RSS feeds or if you're scraping data for some from somewhere, you can then take all of that data and you can essentially generate blog posts or you can generate newsletters. Like if someone has an email list, you could say, hey, I'll find all of the top news in your niche and I will generate a highly you know, customized based on your brand voice that you can send to them every single week. You basically don't have to do anything. Um, I will handle it all for you. That's essentially the offer. And so that brings us to the social media content system. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna show you what that looks like here. So if we go into my com, then we go into the SSAI marketing. So there's a couple different, there's multiple different flows here. If you've seen the vibe marketing video, you've seen some of the more technical stuff. There's a couple different social media flows you can you can sell, and I've made probably lead gen and social media are tied for the total amount of revenue and ROI that I've generated uh, with any AI system. So there's a couple different ones. One is like the kind of basic one that I'm not going to say basic, but it's the most popular one that people are going you're going to find on a million YouTube videos at this point, which is the you know, and I've I've sold this to multiple clients, so it's definitely you know a very good intro point pulling RSS feed data, getting an email, generating uh, Reddit posts, generating LinkedIn posts, generating Facebook, uh, Twitter threads, adding them to Airtable, scheduling them out inside of Airtable. Uh, that system is very popular and you can definitely do it. Other systems are like more video-based systems. So let's say you have, like this is one that I use internally for for my company is, it, I finished recording one of these one of these videos and I drop it into Google Drive, it pulls the transcript, it creates titles for the YouTube videos. Oops. It pulls titles for the YouTube videos and then it, you know, uploads them to YouTube, adds a click up task and, you know, schedules them out. So this helps me with like YouTube content creation, short form content creation. If you want to actually look at, you know, how to actually schedule these out, the best way to do this is through Airtable. So you can basically add all of the posts into Airtable, and then you set up these automations where it will basically, whenever the day is equal to today, it will post it on the platform and there's another make.com flow for that. And so that's what I would recommend. What I'm working on with my team right now and what I'm in talks with and have proposals out for at the moment is actually an N8N system that is for short form video creation. So let me show you that here. So if we go save it, it's going to be something like, I think it's called script generator. Yeah. So basically what we're doing is we're scraping, we're scraping Appify, finding all the top, you know, Instagram posts and how they are performing. And then we're downloading the videos, transcribing them. And then if, you know, if I say I want to record this, it's going in and we're, you know, generating suggestions of things to record, writing new scripts, writing new titles. It's basically taking out all of the pre-production work from me and the post-production in terms of actually posting it. And then I just sit down and record 10 to 20 reels and short form videos because I know these are the scripts that are working. These are the videos that are performing the best in my industry. Let me sit down, let me record them. And then everything else is taken care of. And so I'm actually working with a couple people, or I guess I rather I have proposals out for them to build something like this because there's a lot of interest for these types of systems these days. And then the second part is like, once it's ready, you can post it. So let me show you inside of ClickUp what that looks like. So this is the actual system. Every single day we're focusing on allowed criteria. We're gonna scrape AI, Instagram pages within the last 60 days, minimum views a thousand. We're gonna scrape accounts, these accounts. And then we're going to be getting all this information in here and we're going to be rewriting the new script inside of ClickUp. I and mean, there's a bunch of comments in here that are updated like, okay, it's been completed, it's been posted, etc. And so we're, we're reverse engineering all of the top performing posts and putting them into scripts here so that we can start posting them. And then I actually have a video editor in here. I haven't found any AI video editors that are good enough to that I would feel comfortable posting them. And then I also have mini chat links in, so generating like mini chat funnels and stuff like that directly off of here. And so that is the kind of um, AI content generation system, which again is very similar to the newsletter generation. You're gonna be doing the exact same things. You're gonna be scraping different news sites or RSS feeds. And then you're going to be essentially taking those and rather than generating a new script, you would just do different types of prompt engineering here to basically say, rather than generating new scripts, I want you to, you know, 
get all of them into a an array and I want you to add them into a newsletter and here's how I want you to structure it and here's a prompt for each section of the newsletter. So that's exactly what you could do there. That brings us to our last system, which is the recruiting application analysis. So this is essentially a candidate. There's an application form that uh, it's filled out. The AI kind of ranks those candidates based on what the recruiting agency or company wants to rank for. And then for all of the highest ranked candidates, there's a human in the loop quality assurance process. Um, and then if they like some of the results, then they basically move them to the next stage of the process and they send them additional forms. So I'm actually going to show you show you guys how I built this out for my own business. So I was actually hiring a AI no-code developers recently. And so I would have people fill out this form and tally form. Let me actually find it. And then whenever, and I'll show you, whenever they uh, filled out the form, it would immediately populate a card in here. I would review it. I would request a trial. Inside of the request a trial, we would have different automations in here. And that's basically whenever the request trial project static changes, send them an email. So if I show you here, there's the original no code engineer. We had 87 submissions to it. And I'll show you like who is smart scaling AI, key responsibilities, putting your contact detail, location, and then hourly rate, availability, resume, no code experience, AI agent workflow, portfolio, final comments. And then once they essentially filled that out, if I liked what they filled out, I would give them a test project. And this test project was basically like, um, hey, here you go. Can you build me like a system that does lead generation using AI? It shouldn't it take you more than 30 to 60 minutes? Use this Google sheet of leads. Show me if you can create this system. And this basically showed me, are people lying about their experience? And I could quickly see from a five minute Loom video, like, hey, this person really knows what they're doing or they don't. And then that's how I would choose to hire people. So you can build this out. You can build this out for people. And, and again, you're sending a webhook whenever they reach a certain stage. And then if I go inside of make.com here, I'll show you what that looks like. So if I go into HR, like a new tally form was filled out, let me add a ClickUp card here. And then it has all the information gets added to the HR ClickUp database. If I'm asking them for a sample project, the webhook from ClickUp gets sent here. It's, it's fetching whatever task it is that was sent and then sending them an email saying, you know, hey, um, thank you for your application. This project will take no longer than 60 minutes. Here's the project instructions tally form. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks for your time and interest. And so you could, I built this out for my own business, but you could easily build this out for another company as well. I know there's a lot of people targeting recruiting agencies in the AI automation space and it's working really well for them. So in a nutshell, these are the seven systems. Um, if I were you, start with the lead gen, start with the sales systems and then work your way out. Focus on what is your offer. These are the offers. Focus on who are you targeting and, you know, after and don't don't get stuck in the technical don't get lost in the sauce in too much technicalities after speaking with about a hundred people one-on-one -on -one in my community i basically realized there's there's one thing it's everyone sucks about with offer creation and lead gen so if you can figure out offer creation and lead gen you're going to be ahead of the curve my team and i have literally put together hundreds of templates to basically tell people like don't get stuck trying to build ai uh, n8n systems all day every day we literally have hundreds of AI templates in here, hundreds. We have 200 in this course, and then we have you know, 200 in this course. And they're segmented by marketing, sales, ops, onboarding, customer support, finance, others, right? And so you go in here and you're like, all right, I wanna build a sales system. What sales systems are available? I think there's actually more in the other one. I wanna build some marketing systems. You know, post a new video to X or YouTube or social media analysis or YouTube video summary, Google analytics. There's so many different things you can build. Just find templates, please. Like don't, people have already built these workflows and especially with Claude being able to generate them now, the ability to build a workflow should not be the constraint. The constraint should be, do you know what your offer is? Do you know how to do lead gen? Do you know what is um, like how to get in front of people and pitch people and do sales calls and do proposals and handle objections? and send follow-up emails and do onboarding. Like all of this stuff is the real constraint. And that's why we're basically reorganizing the whole community right now to focus on offer creation, lead gen, how to actually get in front of people, how to think about which markets are valuable. The stuff that I personally learned about which markets are valuable and which aren't. And, you know, people are looking to hire other people to build agents in this community. There's also, you know, you know, all sorts of stuff. I'm not gonna keep selling it, but if you wanna dive into learning how to build agents that actually add value to business. AI yeah, Agents University is where you should go.
other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and have a beautiful rest of your day.